Welcome to day 17 of our January challenge 2019 and our fourth day of working on Ben's rough reggae. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play from bar 5 through to bar 9, 10, 11, 12, bar 12 um, so that we have yesterday's learning and today's because this is completing our musical sentence, completing our phrasing. So it's natural for one to flow into the other. So I'm going to play from bar 5 through to 12 for you now. And then we'll look at what's new about today. So here we go. This is from bar five. One, two, three, four. Okay, so got some nice dynamics coming through now as well hopefully so the looking at bar nine onwards which is our new bit for today it starts the same as yesterday so we have our that's exactly the same as yesterday apart from we can't hang around there now we need to carry on and we're going to go from an a down to an e well our left thumb is playing that e at the minute so so it is actually going to end up being a jump to do it. So let me just think about what fingering. So you might choose to go two, four, even though you can't quite place it, but two, four. You might choose to move your hand down and go one, two. The reason I might do a two, four is because I've just ended on the A with a two. So my hand is comfortably in that same position and it doesn't mean a move to then go back on and reach down for the four with my reach down for the E with my four. Okay, so uh, let's try that from the beginning of the line again, a bit slower. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Again there, I changed again, I did one, three. It's gonna be what's comfortable for you. It just shows there's no fixed way to do it. Two, four might work, one, three might work, one, two might work. Um, and all of those would be acceptable finger choices. Um, they all fall within the rules of our finger choices. Um, so, having gone, left hand then does its, carries on with its pattern that you're very comfortable with now, D. And then we have the same A, E again. Now this time you can place it, and it starts with the A, the thumb with the chord, the E's on its own, and then the left hand completes the full bar with its bass E. Okay, so let's try putting that together. Maybe just do the right hand for the moment. Ooh, after four and two. One, two, three, four, one, two. Da, da, one, two, three. Now, is that right? Yes, that is right. I'm, I'm questioning it because I'm tapping my foot, but my foot is actually only tapping the minims. So um, I was thinking, oh, I'm not doing it on a tap, but it's because I'm just going one, two, three, four, so my foot is tapping on one and three. Okay, let's put it hands together. Um, often with things like this, it's actually easier to feel the beat when you've got it all together. Here we go, beginning of the line. One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay. You'll notice at the end of this line, there's a repeat mark, which takes us back to bar five. So in our play along videos, what, what I'll do is I'll do the play along from bar five and with the repeat. So you'll do eight bars twice, just to really help you get the feeling of putting it all together. Um, I didn't, well, I mentioned dynamics, but I didn't go over them just now. We crescendo through that and then we're loud. And then the second time it's a like an echo. So we go from forte the first time to piano. Really quiet. Forte, mezzo forte, mezzo piano, piano. It's a long way down from where the forte was. So really try and bring it down and that will be dramatic and that'll be nice. Okay. Then you can go back to sort of a medium volume at the beginning of bar five again with the little swell at the end of bar five, which I didn't particularly mention, but you'll have been doing it quite naturally because it just naturally wants to lead to that E. Da, da, dee, da, dum, da, dum. Okay, I'll see you over on the play-alongs.